Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Is Peter Chong here by any chance? If Peter does not come, maybe we'll have Adam be Northampton. Oh, Adam's going to be here. Oh, Adam's going to be the Okay, this is the 35th year that this board has honored the winners of the annual Fire Safety in the Home Contest. As some of you are aware, I am a member of the Chartered Property Casualty Underwriter Society. And with me, Jessica, <laughs> is Jessica Kearney. Um, and she is secretary of the Philadelphia chapter of Chartered Property Casualty Underwriters. She'll be presenting the plaques and the cash awards for the 12 uh, winning students. Now, back in 1983, when I uh, finished my first term as the president of the Philadelphia chapter, I was a Northampton supervisor, and I thought, what can we do as a public safety liaison to uh, do something along those lines for the community? So I contacted the then president of the Council Rock School Board and suggested that maybe we can do a fire safety in the home contest within the elementary schools of the Council Rock School District. They agreed, and in 1983, the first uh, awards were uh, completed. And by the way, all of these projects are done during National Fire Prevention Week, which is every October. And then the schools submit their best five for each of the three categories to a panel of judges. And the judges were myself, uh, Fire Marshal Frank Fenton from Northampton, and Council Rock was represented by School Board Director Joseph Levander. Now, I can't think of too many things that, uh, in my 24 years as a supervisor, and even since then, that I'm more proud of. And the two things that come to mind are the flag program for our Patriots service people uh, that serve in harm's way, and this fire safety in the home project, which is now in its 35th year. And uh, as long as I'm around, I'll, I'll continue to do it, or as long as I'm able to. Uh, I'll do that. Uh, Jessica, would you like to say a few words about the CPCU organization and how we do this? Thanks, Pete. Uh, thanks, everyone, for having us here tonight to make these presentations. As Pete said, I'm Jessica Carey, the current secretary of the Philadelphia chapter of the CPCU Society. The CPCU Society is a community of credentialed insurance professionals who promote excellence through ethical behavior and continued education. Currently, the society has over 25,000 members who hold the CPCU designation, which is conferred by the American Institute for CPCU. It requires passing eight rigorous undergraduate and graduate level examinations, as well as meeting experience requirements and agreeing to be bound by a strict code of professional ethics. On behalf of the CPCU Society, we are pleased to continue our support for the Fire Safety Essay Contest. Uh, by the way, Peter Chong is present, so you're okay with that. Uh, tonight, the CPC chapter will present their awards. The municipal, state, and federal officials are here to honor the winners who reside in their respective jurisdictions. This year, 10 winners are from Northampton Township and two from Newtown Township. Supervisor Chairman Barry Moore will present for Northampton Township. Phil Calabro, the Newtown Township Supervisor's Chairman for Newtown Township. Representative Perry Warren will present for himself, and Representative-elect Wendy Thomas will present for Helen Ty. Ryan Sokolitz, uh, Tommy Tomlinson's Chief of Staff, Tommy could not be here this evening. He'll present for, for himself and for Senator Chuck McElwain. And Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick is tied up from Washington, so presenting for him from his staff is Peter Chung. He'll be, be presenting special citations from the Congress, State House, and Senate. So Barry, Phil, Perry, Wendy, Ta uh, Brian, and Pete, could you join us up here? I guess we just line up here.
Uh, I'll ask Barry uh, if he'd like to say a few words and pass the mic Sure, and thank you, Pete. Yeah, I just want to say on behalf of Northampton Township, we're very proud to have this day, and it's uh, good for two reasons. One, it brings fire safety awareness to children and families throughout the community, which is very important. And, and holiday time is also very nice to bring people together in an environment like this, and, and it's a very good thing. We certainly appreciate Pete and his organization for bringing this together for people and fire safety and a nice community event for people. So, uh, why do you? Um, I would like to take a moment. I used to be a judge when I was on the Council Rock School Board for this contest, and it, it is a wonderful program. And I honor all the winners that are here, but we receive many, many more that unfortunately uh, can't win. But the kids in the district do an amazing job. But I did want to take a minute. Pete has done this work, and it does take quite a bit. We are 12, well, about 10,000. 500 students in Council Rock right now, and he coordinates it for the whole district. So I'd just like us to give us some, a round of applause. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Hi, I'm uh, State Representative Terry Warren. I represent Newtown, and I'm here to congratulate Abby and Alexandria, our Newtown winners from Goodnow <laughs> Elementary School. Go Grizzlies! Uh, four, uh, four of our children attended Goodnow Elementary School. I live five doors from Goodnow Elementary School. Happy to see Principal Mrs. Crawford here today. Congratulations to you as well, and Mrs. Benzio, the teacher, uh, who my daughter Annabelle had some classes with. So it's great to make these connections and uh, congratulate Abby and Alexandria on their achievement and all the children who wrote fabulous essays uh, on this important topic. And thank you, Mr. Palestina, for uh, for chairing this again for 30, 35 years now to the North Northampton Township Board of Supervisors for having us here today. Thanks. Uh, my name is Phil Calabro. I'm the chairman of the uh, Newtown Township Supervisors. And to echo Perry's uh, sentiments here, I'm also here to congratulate Alexandra and, and Abby on their wins for the essay uh, contest. Uh, it's funny, I was just saying, as a kid, all I knew about fire prevention was to stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> and it's so nice to see that the children nowadays are being well taught and well tutored in, in what to do. Um, on behalf of the Board of Supervisors of Newtown Township, I'd like to congratulate the two young ladies and say how proud we are of you, and hopefully that you carry on in the future. I know that there's been uh, multiple winners in the past from what I, I understand, and maybe you guys will continue to win. And I'd like to thank Pete. Um, 35 years of doing this, he was only, he's only 36 years old, so uh, he's doing a fantastic job. So uh, thanks, Pete. I appreciate all your help. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Ryan Spichels. I'm Chief of Staff for Senator Tom Tomlinson. I'm here today on behalf of both Senator Tomlinson and Senator McElhenney. And real quick, the boys and girls who are receiving awards, could you stand up just for a moment, please? I'd like to join them in a round of applause for these young men. <laughs> Congratulations, boys and girls. Uh, we have some Senate citations here, but on behalf of Senator Tomlinson, you guys and girls were able to learn some critical lessons. Um, some critical fire uh, fire prevention lessons that could potentially save not just your life but your family's life. So, on behalf of the senator, congratulations, and Pete, a special thank you to you. Thirty-five years is quite remarkable. Uh, your commitment to Northampton is unparalleled. I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, almost anything this guy would do for Northampton Township. So, thank you very much. Congratulations, boys and girls. Happy holidays. Uh, on behalf of Congressman Fitzpatrick, he just wants to extend his. Uh, Congratulations to all the 12 students that uh, won this year. Um, just keep up the good work. Uh, good job for your families, your schools, and the communities. Thank you. I, I should mention earlier, looking at these posters from the past events, there's one student from uh, Council Rock named Allison Halpin. And uh, in 2000, 1999, 2000, 2001, she won this contest five times out of the six years that she was in the elementary school. And her brother Adam has won it a few times also. Allison emailed me tonight or contacted me on Facebook and said, hope all goes well. She remembers this contest. Allison is now an army captain. And she's in Georgia. She has a she just had a baby. 
a few months ago. So it, it's great to hear from people uh, in the past that uh, participated in this. At this time, I'll uh, ask Joe Hidalgo, the Council Rock School Director, who's going to read the names of the winning students. Joe. Thank you, Pete. Chairman, members of the board, fellow elected officials, and members of the public, I wanted to take the time to say happy holidays and good evening. Um, on behalf of the Council Rock School District Board, I would like to take a moment to thank the CPUC Society for their involvement and thank everyone else who contributed to the success of the Fire Safety at Home contest. Uh, I appreciate being part of this process and uh, this long-standing tradition. A special thanks to Pete and Fire Marshal Frank who worked with me on the judging panel. We reviewed so many great pieces of work like you see here tonight and it made our task very difficult in picking out winners, but everyone here truly is a winner for doing that. Um, and also wanted to say that all students who participated should be commended. Uh, keep up the good work, kids. So it is now my distinct honor to announce the winners of this year's Fire Safety at Home contest. Starting with category one, which is first and second grade, the first place prize of $100 cash, movies, tickets, and a plaque goes to Spencer Jawarzak. This week class. Oh, good, you're here. Congratulations, Spencer. Carrying all this weight. Which one is uh, Spencer's? Do you, can we? Uh... Right there at the end, Spencer. This one right here? Spencer? No. That's your essay there. Great job. Okay, right here. Did you do that? Was that work yours? Stay by. Stay by. Okay. So when the students get their uh, awards, go ahead and stand in front of your yeah. uh, pieces of work. So in second place, the prize of $50 cash movie tickets and a plaque goes to Allison Buckowitz. in the plaque from Hillcrest, Mrs. Peller's class, Northampton Township, Ashley Miller. cash, movie tickets and a plaque from Welsh Elementary School in Mr. O'Brien's class, Northampton Township. The winner is Kaylee Pissarek.
supposed to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> The envelope is the money key. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Kayla. Now moving on to our second category, which is third and fourth grade. Uh, our first place winner of one hundred dollars cash. Movie tickets and a plaque from Churchville Elementary in Mrs. Gallagher's class, Northampton Township, is Nicholas Gromosak. Tickets in the plaque from Churchville Elementary School in Miss, Mr. Beale's class, Northampton Township, is Alexander Gromisak. They're brothers. <laughs> it's interesting for the two of them. They were so close that we had a difficult time choosing a winner. And I think it was the color that won, the yellow over the red. But they were very close. Congratulations, Alexander. Our third place winner of $50 cash movie tickets in the plaque from Rolling Hills in Miss Sweeney's class, Northampton Township, is Noah Malowish. cash movie tickets and a plaque from Hillcrest Elementary School, Mrs. Clifford's class, Northampton Township, Riley Whitmer. cash movie tickets and a plaque from Richboro Elementary School in Mrs. Knack's class, Northampton Township. Please congratulate Sam Kellner. $50 cash, a movie tickets and a plaque from Hillcrest Elementary School in Mrs. Wade's class, Northampton Township. Please congratulate Pope Hackbar.